Mere madini ya kongwe na kongo ke Yezi wana maka, haji mezi wana maka Yezi wana maka, haji mezi wana maka Mere ya jinde, nda na kare la kese Mere ya jinde, nda na kare la kese in the world we have a culture one day we will get to heaven and we will meet our father who will wipe every tears from our eyes and it shall be a glorious moment when we will meet our father and we shall no longer be seen as strangers when the belly Through everlasting mercy, I behold my Savior's face. When I enter in the mansions of the city bright and fair, I shall have a royal welcome, for I'll be no stranger there. I shall be. I shall be Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy had begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that faded not away, preserved in heaven for you. Through times ever changing season, I'm pressing towards the goal. This my heart, sweet native country, this the homeland of my soul. Many
na so Jesus. Odi mada bu na so Jesus. Got to football ya, bali, no wanka, ando gajebia, wanka si ya. Ule obey Jesus, siri, mai na cho kiso na so. Paul, 
No matter how much I believe that there is resurrection, and even you know, on the resurrection power, my governor is that Jesus will be known. So Omega and Zerema, who are the child of God, and you are going straight to the way of heaven. Should I get another proof again? And Doka, now Jesus Christ will know why. Without the runo, that can zipa runo. Now how Jesus? By God's grace now, I am the eldest in the family. And uh, all my right to I'm say what I'm saying. Who not unfortunate? I'm not unfortunate. I'm not unfortunate. I'm not So because I am the chief in the chief in the chief in the chief in the chief how we here now, Pastor Paul. Alas, so because Pastor Paul, all you have been from the 1980s. Paul. As you were mad. We in America, we were talking. We were talking. I'm not know what I want. Tell him that we That we will do. I want him to ask him to give up on the North Man. 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 Asimu <laughs> Can <laughs> <laughs> I love you so cool. I don't I just want to I Okay. Yeah, because if people sit and one, just sit and one. Um, on behalf of my family, I do do Yonya bi baron ko Jesus na boni ko se bi bu ni na ibu ya ade yaro ibu ya de fo da kita no mu mu de bo ibu ni bu na ni bu ni na Jesus ori me ko ni fe Jesus na so puta genti Enu olu Jesus, onye janya mi lena kwa gisege biya mama. Jesus e buru wongo bem, ira po aso begi, kubenye ele daranya, ija bu iye mi ye, iye mi ya dalani, iye mcho.
of Jesus and Jesus Christ was speaking to that woman in John chapter 11 he said I am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me he that believeth in me do you believe in Jesus do you believe in Jesus if you don't believe in Jesus you are only short pain yourself in him we have our being. Jesus is everything you can think of. He said, I have the resurrection and life. And this is the time to prepare. Thank God for our beloved Father. Thank God for our beloved Pastor. Who lived a life that is worthy of emulation. We need to examine our life. No man can escape this ultimate appointment. One day, people will gather, as you have gathered, to also pay their last respect to Russia cause. 
every living soul we either live finally you will spend the rest of your life after this physical death after this body has been sent back to where it came from it is either we spend the rest of our life in hell or in heaven Pretend heaven is real Heaven is real. He said that Paul Lazarus died and went to heaven. And while on, in hell, the rich man looked up and saw Lazarus. I was praying to God. I said, please just tell this man to dip his hand in, 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 in a drop of water to get to my as, we, as I conclude this message this afternoon, let's examine our lives. Let's examine our life. There is something you can do to make it to heaven. There is something you can do that will qualify you. You know you guys have paid that price for us on the cross of Calvary. Why did Jesus Christ die for sin once and for all? Once and forever. All you and I have to do is to accept Him as our personal Lord and Savior. Nothing more, nothing less. As simple as that. Is to open your heart to Him. Is to confess Him as your Lord and personal Savior. Is to ask Him to be the Lord over your soul. And with that, that qualifies you for heaven. Are you here this afternoon? Are you here this afternoon? And you have not surrendered your life to Him. You have not surrendered your life to Him. Or you did it one time and you have collected that life back from him. You've gone back to your old ways. He's here in this hour. And he's saying, come, let us visit it together. It does not matter. Pastor Paul Ikemeko Laokora was born to the family of Chief Fidelis and Chief Mrs. Anna Okora of Oboaga, Aba, in Wangeli, local government area in Imo State. He is the seventh child of he is the seventh child in a family of nine children. As a child, he attended his primary secondary, his primary secondary company, Agon Express Limited, a clearing and forwarding company, where he worked for many years. Paul Ikeme Fuller later ventured into business since he was born into the family of a businessman and woman. While in the business, the calling to serve God became high that he could not resist. He enrolled into Evangel Christian University of America, Monroe, USA, where he fulfilled the requirements for the award of Bachelor in Christian Counseling, Psychology, and was ordained a pastor at Portacourt International Church, also known as Recovery House, at Stadium Road, Portacourt, where he served for about 10 years. In the course of his missionary journey and in search for greener pastures, he traveled to Africa and from there he traveled to France and came back to Nigeria. As a pastor in the mission, he brought global mission for chaplaincy corps to River State, Port Harcourt. He was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel Paul Ikeme Fula. He did it by the commander, late General Bala Latan of the GMC court. He later joined the Redeemed Christian Church of God as a pastor before he traveled to the United States of America for greener pastures. Pastor Paul lived in the U.S. for nine years but lost his job due to ill health and so he decided to return to Nigeria in 2020 to be taken care of by his family since they were here in Nigeria. Since then, he has been battling with his health until his stamina ends. Thank you. A very brief biography by the song. Please, I think that... Gracious Father, we thank you. We bless your name for the life of our son, for the family of this tonight. We appreciate you because why you are doing that well. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for seizing you and comforting them to be consoling them. 
Holy Spirit is concentrated on the first time. And if you can see him. Father, you are the father to the fatherless. You are the husband to the husband. May this family experience your father with a revelation. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for the wife. May he see him as the better husband for men's fault in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, King of glory, I pray for the entire family. Lord, may affliction never rise the second time in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of the mature death that is roaming around this family, in the name that is above every other name, cast out that spirit of the mature death in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, your word that we do not understand that we will need to fulfill the number of our days. For this one, I pray and declare this hour that it, they will live to fulfill the number of their days in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, King of glory, whenever this family needs to help, Lord, send help to them. Whenever, Lord, any need that rises in this family, may there be provision waiting by the side in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray for each and every one of them. And none of them will visit to heaven. Lord, none of these ones will visit to heaven. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, sir. Please just come and whatever is just saying. It's not for the church, it's for the family. It's not for the church, it's for the family. It is not for the church, it's for the family. Please, anybody that will be afraid to come and drop, it's not by force. Just come and drop something. It's not by force. God bless you. Uh -huh. Good. Thank you, sir. Yes, Pico, just make sure you show a seed and the family, no matter and however, the God has seized your heart. As you give, may God replenish it in Jesus' name. As many that will drop, may God answer your prayers of your heart desires. He will not die on family. Sorrow shall not be your portion. That's a good one. That's one man. Oh, chief. Oh. Yes. <laughs> the progress is. Yes, I'm the one. Yes, I'm the one. I hope I'm going to go. Chief, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. It's for the family. It's not for the church. Thank you. No matter, I have a like no matter, I like a no matter, I like a no I I I and the money will hand over to the son. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Pastor, please, can you pray?
Good afternoon, my brother. Good afternoon. Your name? I find you before the Davis. Uh, from where? From Wangele, Imo State. Apa. Apa, yes. Okay. Uh, can you just tell us uh, what is happening here today? Okay, today we came here for the burial of my father, Pastor Paul Fidel Sokora. Okay, the first son of uh, Pastor Paul. Yes. So how do you witness the burial of your father and how you feel? Mm, it went well. Thank God for everything. I'm, I'm happy at this. He's resting now. He's resting in peace. That's why the tribute didn't read that. Can you just tell us the, the life pattern of your father when he was alive? Yeah, my father, father was a good man. He was a pastor too, ministering for God. And I knew him at... He was this playful type, but also disciplined, very disciplined. And it was good. It was good. Okay, uh, now Igbo people say Shibu Pungweburu. If her drop, the shoulder will not carry. Okay. Your father has left. Yeah. Everything now lies on your bed. So, how do you assure us to, that you are going to pilot this family as the first son of uh, Mr. Uh, Pastor Paul? Death came unfortunately. He also prepared me. He also prepared me for everything. And he told me the life I should live. So I believe I should be fine. I will, I will try my best to take care of the family and also uphold his name high. Okay, God will give you the strength. Amen. So our uh, position today, your uncles and the uh, first away wishers who added the one way or the other to make sure that this uh, burial went successful. I thank all of them. Where my uncles and aunties they have been trying, really, really trying, even when he was MC, and also for taking care of us. I thank all of them. A lot. They really tried for the family. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good afternoon, my sister. Good afternoon. Your name? My name is Miss Yamako Korohan. From where? From Imo State, Wangeli, Abba, precisely. Okay. From the information we heard and what we saw, uh, we know that uh, you are the first daughter of uh, late uh, Pastor Paul. Okay, so how do you feel about the burial of your father and how you witnessed it? It was a real shock to us. We can never prepare for the love of the, uh, for the loss of the loved one. My father was a very nice man, he was a good man. But I'm so happy that he was there to rest today. And I'm so happy for the outcome. Everybody turned up for him. The love was massive. So I'm delighted. In my heart, I know he's resting in peace. Uh, despite being the arrestion, being read out by your brother, so just tell us, uh, the first daughter, just tell us how your father lived his life when he was alive. My father. If I start talking about for a few days, he came in for the corona. We will not live here today, so I don't know how much time we have. But my father, he calls me first daughter. I have five um, five younger ones. I'm the eldest. That's what he calls me, first daughter. He was a nice man. My father was a very strong man. He was a fighter. He was not a partial man. He was a very nice man. My dad always stood for the truth. It doesn't matter, he hates intimidation. It doesn't matter who you are, how much money you have based on your qualification or anything. If he sees you intimidating someone, my father will always speak up and stand for the truth. That's the kind of person my place that was. Okay, people have been testified good about your father. So tell us what you benefited from him. As a child that grew up with the father, I benefited love. My father taught me how to fight for myself, how not to depend on anybody, how to love myself and how to be contented. That was his watchword. He wasn't a very rich man, but he was an okay man, and he brought up his children that way. Be contented, don't look at your neighbor's things, don't look at what your neighbors may have. Just be you, so long as you have what to eat, what to wear. Praise God and thank God for the life that he has given to you. That was the kind of person my father was. He taught us that, and we are grateful. As the first daughter of uh, uh, the family, so I didn't intend to add the, the first son to pilot the family. I pray for the grace and unity amongst us siblings. I cannot do it on my own. God will always keep us. 
and make us to love each other unconditionally despite everything my father loved us and he was always bringing us together so i pray we continue that love amongst ourselves and god will really see us through but i will do my best as the second mother of the house and standing to as a father to my younger brother too to guide and lead them i'll always make sure we imbibe the love and care my father left and taught us Wow, thank you very much. So, um, your appreciation to the people, I mean, your friends are one wishes, and also to your uncles, your appreciation to them. I want to appreciate the Fidelis family, my aunties, my uncles, sister Elizabeth, Ba Lambert, Ba Peter, Daddy Eddie, our eldest uncle. He's our father now. So I want to appreciate Uncle Oke, Ba Beniface, all of all my uncles, to mention but a few. Which will I mention and which will I leave? They were really supportive. They, but they showed us that yes, we are from a family of unity. That we can always count on them. I could call them anytime, any day, they will answer me anytime. So I'm very, very appreciative for that. I'm so much grateful. I want to say thank you to them. I want to say thank you to my friends that travel far and wide to make this vocation call of me. I want to say thank you to everyone that participated one way or the other, rendered assistance by money, transport, using yourself to work for us, and phone calls, text messages. I'm so grateful. I appreciate the love was well received. Thank you very much. And I pray that God grant and keep everybody safe in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Chief uh, Agma, like I'm at the Hagin OG. Okay. I'm a Chief Okechuku Charles. I'll be a little bit. Okay. One of our. Chief Agma, look, it's a bomb, but I'm a little bit of a bomb. So, what are you teaching? One, one, Galaba. Nezu no love pastor Paul. Anya kane leta. Um, pastor Paul, fidelis okoro ha wo my senior brother. Otu mado tamu no funde no funde. And many about the number. You know, we've been very very close up to the time. We have a obi obi a warrior. So more than one warrior. And my bomb button when he came to win them, then go. So, then with that direction, I think he ran high when he came in. But I bought the guy when he came. And I didn't get my check. I come on. Chief, you really go out there, or do you know, your senior brother and ambassador in Bobo? Huh? You really go out there, or do you know, your senior brother and ambassador in Bobo? Okay, uh, Pastor Paul. I'm going to I'm going to very close. You know, and I'm going to go to the Like, I'm going to go to the school. Now, you did that style, you did that style as school, you did that style as school. Geoffrey. Geoffrey. Oswald. 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 Okay. Um, I am I got no money, Kenya. I go make it. Jump the wrong one. You come now, get me to go and make it. Like that, we can buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't wait to see me. I go again. Okay. And then you never hear me talk. I go to the club, preaching. We never hang. 